Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to go over basics of welding symbols. Okay, so today we're just going to go over some basic ones. We're not getting into real fancy ones and getting into great detail. Today it's just going to be on your very basics of welding symbols. Okay, so what we've done is I've drew some welding symbols up here on the board. I've also got written in some notes for you as well, so if you wanted to pause the video and take down the notes, you'll have them on the board here where you can check and see and refer back. Yes, I know my handwriting is not all that great and my doodling skills are not world famous, but uh, please, you know, just bear with me here on our, on our examples that we have. So let's go through this here. First, you have your reference line, okay? So this blue arrow right here, or this blue line right here is called your reference line. I'll point it out. This is, this is called your reference line, all right? This is also called your arrow, and then you have your tail, okay? So in your tail, you're going to have more of your, as um, far as your processes, or you're also going to have whether it's going to be a completed weld, uh, partial completed joint or a full weld, uh, welded joint. You'll have those types of information. There'll be other information in there as well. But this for today, we've got our note in here. It's going to be GMAW, which means gas metal arc welding, better known as MIG welding. And so this is going to be the process we're going to run today. So also, let's talk about our symbols, all right? So right here, I have this little triangle symbol. What is this triangle symbol? It is a fillet weld, okay? It means that we're gonna run a fillet weld. So that when you see the triangle, that's a fillet weld. Now, there's lots of other ones in there. We're not gonna get into all of them today. Uh, like I said, we'll show that more on some other videos. But today, like I said, we're just gonna talk about the fillet weld. All right, so to the left of our, of our fillet weld is going to be our size. So how big of a weld it's gonna be. So we have 3 8 up here. That means we're gonna have a 3 8 weld. I mean, our leg length is gonna be 3 8 on the sizes of the legs, all right? Then on the two and the four, what does that mean? It's gonna be an intermittent weld. It means that you're gonna have two inches of weld for every four inches, and that's based off center to center. Uh, like I say, we'll get into more detail of that as well. So let's talk about this a little bit. If it's below your reference line, if this information, if your fillet weld is below the reference line, it means that you're gonna put your weld on the actual arrow side. So I wrote it down here. If it's gonna be below the reference line, it's gonna be on your arrow side. All right, so let's repeat that again. If the symbol is below the reference line, it is gonna be on the arrow side. If the uh, symbol is above the reference line, it will be on the other side. All right, so where is our symbol? It is below the reference line. So where are we going to put our fillet weld, our intermittent uh, fillet weld that's 3 eighths long? It's going to go right here, arrow side. And so when you're out in the field and you see this symbol, it's going to let you know that's where you want to put it. Wherever that arrow is pointing, if it's below the reference line, you're going to put that weld there. And it's going to be a fillet weld. It's going to be 3 8 in, 3 8 in uh, long, and then you're going to have it intermittent on 2 on 4. And so I wrote you some more notes here. Size, okay, the size of your fillet weld, the size of the weld, whatever it's going to be, is going to be to the left of your welding symbol. The length or the pitch will be to the right, okay? So the length or pitch is to the right, size is to the left, all right? So let's try another one. Let's step over here real quick. We have the same thing, okay? Same reference line, same arrow, same, fillet, uh, same tail. Length is still, the size is still the same, the length is still the same. So where do we put our weld this time? Remember, look at the notes. Go back, if it's above the reference line, it goes to the other side. So where are we gonna put our weld? To the other side, okay? So like I say, these are some of your basic ones. We're gonna get into much more detailed ones, but right now we just wanted to shoot some basic ones. Uh, I've also got here another one of our instructors. You may have seen him on some of the videos. His name is Mr. Ryan. Ryan's got some more videos over here that he's gonna show you, so I will pass it off to Mr. Ryan. Hey, how you guys doing? So uh, my two symbols are gonna focus more on your tail and your arrow point. So as you see here, which is similar, very similar to Jack's, it's a fillet weld, we're on the arrow side, it's a quarter inch weld. But you also see this circle around your point tip and the flag. So what our circle is gonna mean is welded all the way around, and the little flag means to be welded in the field. What we have in the tail, CJP. What do you think that stands for? It stands for Complete Joint Penetration. Then we have GTAW, better known as TIG, Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. So we're going to make a quarter inch fillet weld on the arrow side, weld it all the way around in the field. It's going to be complete joint penetration and it's going to be done with TIG. So then we're going to go down here to our second one. We have symbols on both sides of the line, the arrow and the other. These are slot symbols. So you see here we got our size. One's going to be a half inch, one's going to be an eighth inch. Then you see we got two more symbols up here. So the contour of the weld will always be above the symbol or below it if you're on the arrow side the method of contour goes above the finish. So 
Here we would have a flat or flush contour to be achieved by grinding. So again, the symbol being below it on the arrow side, we now have a convex symbol, which would be, you know, like an upside down rainbow or U. And then in our tail bracket, we have shielded metal arc welding, so stick, and it's to be completed by 6010 process. Okay, so like I said, this is just a recap of basic welding symbols. Like I said, there's very, there's a lot more, okay? All we've gotten into is just the basic ones, you know, as far as your reference lines, what's in your tail, where if it's gonna be above the reference line or below the reference line, what's gonna be the size of fillet weld or size of slot welds. You know, like I said, these are just some of the basic ones. We're gonna get into a lot more to, uh, on the next video. Like I said, we'll get into some more advanced and more in depth. But I just wanna take our time today, show you some real basic stuff, uh, like I say, and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time, thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something today. And if you wanna stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.